Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Fuse on Battle, brought to you by Upfront and Personal. Yeah. The food gang is in the building. Dish. I always do that. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome to the show, Madichi. Welcome back. Thank you so much. So good to be here. Did you guys miss me though? Yes, I miss Madichi. Because they didn't say it I called her. I was like, Madichi, I miss you. I was Liar. I was crying. <laughs> I was crying on the phone. Okay. okay, I believe everybody on the show miss you. I also miss Aww, you. We miss you. you. I believe Gabby miss you somehow. Sha, sha. I did not. I'm not even hiding it now. That, ah, I'm disturbing her on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to be back, guys. Welcome to the show. This is Fusion Battle brought to you by Offering and Personal. My yep. name is Kins. Gabby Gabby My here DJ. in the building. My DJ here is always. <laughs> All right, guys. We have a whole lot to talk about. First off, mm-hmm. we have to congratulate David, who just walked on Puma Fashion runway Yo. yeah all right that's big deal and mm-hmm. he wore like two richard milley on his wrist mm-hmm. and i'm like yo why are you doing that but like you know they really show that emole science on his eyes like okay <laughs> okay okay david is the second uh, african artist african superstar yeah to um be featured on a fashion runway outside of nigeria like then uh, and was the first yeah what, what, what brand again and um, this was dosa and gabbana sometime in 2018 and 20. he did it alongside naomi campbell naomi so Kamen. and davido did it by himself oh, by himself oh, wow. <laughs> you know what guys there's a whole lot more to talk about stay with us we'll be right back after the short break don't move a muscle i used to care for the world's opinion I used to fear their rejection. I used to beg for validation. And I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my power is now. I'm still mortar. Be your best. Feels unbothered. Welcome back, guys. We just talked about David O, you know, walking on the runway. Did you see did you see his movements? Baba was bouncing. People was were saying all kinds of things so that uh, why is that what will be looking like um <laughs> I don't wanna see <laughs> Now. You I know, but like, but but this this is so cool. We you, we also know that he's a brand ambassador of the brand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So he actually Basically said he enjoyed watching them growing up mm-hmm. and how. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a dream come true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. So, hey. Problem, so he's joining the likes of Jay Z, Usain okay. Bolt, mm-hmm. Rihanna. So I mean, to influence for Puma. Well, I mean, we even saw a picture, deal. a picture that he took with um, Usain Bolt um, that particular mm. at that particular event. Yeah. Right? So. It's yeah, quite impressive for Nigeria and Africa in general. Kudos, mm-hmm. David. Big shout out to you, David well and the DG. <laughs> that 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 feat was fire, bro. It was fire. I like I like the fact that fashion is now uh, working in collaboration with the music, the entertainment mm-hmm. industry in Nigeria and yeah. Africa at large. All right, moving on uh, to a very very confusing story. <laughs> All right, Ikechuku kills the rapper Ikechuku that calls himself Kills right now. Uh, put up a post on Instagram of late talking about uh, sharing his experience uh, far back as of 2019 where he was almost uh, you know killed Mm -hmm. by the Nigerian police in his encounter with them and he's still very much aggravated with this Mm. occurrence it feels like it's PTSD I came out to speak about the fact that in his own opinion um, Nigerian police is like as much as say 99 percent corrupt yeah 99.9 percent corrupt Mm -hmm. literally saying that it is an entire corrupt system and there should still be a reform he doesn't believe Mm. whatever they think they are doing that they call reform Mm. said this in 2019 when those police officers attempted life and i'm gonna say it again now the nigerian police force is corrupt in its own, almost in its entirety. I would say 99.9%. Okay. And without proper reform, nothing can happen. If we have to go extreme as all the police and temporarily replacing them with military police, we get sense small. Eh? Bros, that might be the way because our police force needs to be rehired. Re, re-scrutinized, re 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 vetted, retested, retrained before they can put them on the streets. I mean, yeah, and with that should come better 
quality of life for police officers because then you know you're supposed to graduate before you become police you're supposed to get small sense and i'm like okay i know for a fact because like i have a friend who is a military police officer not like a friend friend but like you know someone we, you know someone i know mm. you get me and i know that there's a very rigorous training on the mental side mm. apart from the physical trainings uh, even our police force don't look like they go they undergo the uh, you know rigorous physical training because mm. some of them have put police and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know why he thought it's wise to recommend that the military police you know the military police officers those ones on red cops and uh, red caps and uh, you know the military camo attire <clears throat> And I'm like, are you really sure you want these guys on the streets? Because hmm. these guys, they don't yet yeah. go. They only yet come here. Once a year come, that's all. Wow. It, it was just few weeks back. We're just commending the force for mm. how far they've come. I mean, yeah. we've seen a lot of... Um, We've seen a lot of things happen Changes, where yeah. police Reaction. actually came out to mm. do what they were supposed to do the need for. So in case you were coming out to say this, it's like, uh, what's happening? Is it not well, paying attention? Exactly. Or so, is it still paying? Yeah. So just in the military, I think it's a no-no for me. Yeah, I mean, we know far. what military is. So even as a civilian, when you see an army officer on the road, mm. I mean, I don't know if it happens to you guys, but there's this panic, like, okay, what if something happens? Yeah. And now having the entire force of the military, the military police. being, oh, no, 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 that's, that's a no-no for me. I don't think we should get to that extent. I just think they need to do more uh, in the police force rather than bringing the military. I think that's just. I think that. as much I as we feel, as I much feel, as we okay. castigate the mm. Nigerian police force, mm. anytime we see them doing something that is uh, you know laudable, mm. we should mention. And yeah, so we we for have a, for yes, I mean for a long time actually. Mm. I mean. Seen we have been mentioning the mm. fact that we can see some obvious changes but we just hope it's not just for the media mm, and okay. PR stuff. Um, so 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 well for me though this is what i would say Ikechukwu is just saying his own. I mean, it's not like after he says it now, they're not going to say, okay, now all, they implement, all the yeah. police, all of you <laughs> move out, this yeah, way. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just his recommendation. But if there's one thing that he said that, you know, really makes a lot of sense was the fact that he was talking about, you know, um, remuneration. He was mm-hmm. saying that these people need to be compensated better. Yeah. And yeah. this is the conversation we've been having all through the period of, you know, the protest, you know, um, a while back. This is exactly what we're talking about. You know, people were advocating for better, you know, um, remuneration, better compensation for police officers. So even if we're saying that it looks like things are changing in the form of, you know, disciplinary action being mm-hmm. taken against police mm-hmm. officers that are not performing well or mm-hmm. not doing the right things have they really implemented that compensation? Yeah, because it's still the it? police officers asking for 20 yes. naira, 50 naira, 100 naira. Have they worked on it? They've they done better. Naira. Naira. Oh, they moved for 20 naira. <laughs> it's not like because funny it, anything. Bro. Because of inflation and because of the way the economy is. <laughs> yeah. But like, have they really worked on their, on their compensation? So I think this is a question that me, I'm taking away from what Ike Chiko has mm. said because yeah. this is something that still really, really needs attention. Really need, needs attention because like just of late, a couple of weeks ago, not even up to two weeks ago, um, there was a protest by police officers actually somewhere in the west i think ocean state precisely mm-hmm. where they were complaining about salaries not being paid for a couple mm-hmm. of months and they are starving mm-hmm. and i mean they see what is going on and they're not being paid so i believe that this should be part of the things that the, the government yeah. should take into consideration Honestly. in the way they are properly compensated mm. for their work even if it's not uh, we don't like see the 100 oh. percent efficiency of the work but mm. <laughs> if they are well compensated probably some things will not go down the yeah, way yeah that's what we yes. happen so because asu hasn't been comp- compensated till uh, date, so i mean uh, like we don't uh, even know where that's what's going, the fate of the police force so. in nigeria <laughs> okay let's move on gabby what do I you mean, have? we obviously have to move on Tina, share happiness. Views unbothered. We're going to be talking about um, marriage now because um, it feels like a lot of people are still saying that, oh, I don't want to get married. We're seeing the rates of divorce getting higher and higher every day. Mm-hmm. And people no longer care as much for marriage, you know. As much as they used as to. As much as they used to. And even when they care and they get in, people no longer stay as much as they used to. Mm-hmm. So a lot of things are obviously changing. But Singer Soul E has come out to the public. Now a pastor. Wow. Yeah. 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 Because we watched that video, it's actually talking like a pastor. Yeah. Like, okay. So oh, E. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it. I'm like, ah, I'm like, oh no, be smart. Scene. Okay. Oh no, okay. no, no. I miss, I miss the songs of old. Like sometimes I remember like the olden day songs that we used to sing. How it was like we remember all the lyrics, yeah. all the songs. I mean, it's not like we don't remember them now. Yeah, but sometimes, you came out small, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like, I, I mean, I mean, so singer Soul E, whom you all know, like from way back, you know, came out and you know basically addressed the whole public, giving advice. And this advice, I think, he's giving it to women. To the ladies. About to get married. Yes, women that are about to get married. He's saying basically that even if you want to get married, you know, and you see a situation where the mother-in-law and the and the man's sisters don't love you, he gave a very strong warning that don't go into that marriage at all. It's not going to end well. And he yeah. even cites that in, in um, situation as one of the reasons why there are a lot of divorces happening. Yeah. Yeah. That if the sisters and the mother-in-law the sisters of the man and the mother you know don't like you forget there's no spiritual thing there's nothing you can do yeah. that marriage is not going to work out because mm -hmm. blood is thicker than water never marry a man that the family does not love you most especially the mother the sisters you will be in big listen to me and listen well this has nothing to do with spirituality or prayer or whatever it is common sense to him brain is given sense is expected blood is thicker than water the biggest problem in marriages today relationships today are mother-in-laws and sister-in-laws now before you me listen to me very carefully there are good mother-in-laws and good sister-in-laws but i can tell you 90 percent of divorces problems in relationship problems in marriages are sponsored by mother-in-laws and sister-in-laws if the mother of that man does not love you run for your dear life do run for your dear life wisdom is profitable to direct there's just a lot to talk about here honestly but we'll go on this break when we come back we'll talk about it don't go that's right again. I used to care for the world's opinion. Next. I used to fear their rejection. I used to beg for validation. And I used to wait to be seen. But the fire that burned in me was hotter. And the passion that lived in me had a voice of its own. So I stopped waiting and started to act. I stopped fearing and started to live. And when they thought I'd fail, I stepped into my power. Because my time is now. Amstel Mortar, be your best. <laughs> Mortina, share happiness. Views unbothered. All right, guys. So before the break, we're talking about how, you know, um, so singer So E said that if you as a lady, you want to get married and your mother-in-law, your, your proposed mother-in-law oh, and your proposed family. Uh -huh. but he, don't this, like you it. know, the funny part is he was talking about the females in your husband's yeah. family. Yeah. Sisters, your, the sisters, mother. the mother. If they don't like you, that's sorry. Oh, that's not something that you should venture into because the marriage is not going to last. I mean, I just feel like there are many other reasons why marriages fail. I've seen people that will say, you know, I love this woman. Like a man will stand up and say, I love this woman. I'm going to marry her. Nothing will happen. And then they run away. Have you not seen cases where mm -hmm. people run away from their family, separate from, them fam from their families? Mm -hmm. For the purpose of marriage, so mm -hmm. do you think this is? I mean, I'm enough? not. I'm not a good. I'm not a good person. Oh, sorry. I'm not the best <laughs> yeah, person. The first thing sorry, I'm not the that. best person to ask <laughs> when it comes to like you know all the like relationship this. and mm. marriage stuff. But I think for me, my own perspective or my point of view of this entire thing is that I somewhat agree with him, uh, especially when. Uh, you tend to stay in the same environment, the mm. same states, the same country with the family of mm. the groom. But if uh, the influence of the family of the groom is going to be minimal because of distance, because of distance, maybe you guys are going to be relocating to the mm. UK and they are going to be in Nigeria here, or your parents are far away somewhere in a different state. Mm. Might not be much of an issue. It would not be the influence of your the family of the groom would be very minimal yeah. on the on the marriage mm. but when it is in a situation where the first of the the man the the supposed groom in question is the breadwinner of his family mm. and he has a uh, he has like a very accessible 
uh, wait. We, uh, sorry, he's very accessible with his family. You get me? It's definitely going to affect the marriage. I can say that for a fact. So, okay, but, so sorry to cut you. I think I'm yeah. going to um, AB. I mean, mm. with the rate of social media now, I don't think you have to be physically present before something like this happened. I mean, I've seen cases where a guy is with his mom on the phone for several hours oh. and his wife needs his attention but oh i'm talking to my mom i have to talk to my mom i ain't talk to my family you don't have to tell me when not to talk to them so that is that is i mean that in itself is already an issue yeah mm-hmm. so so he's actually right saying that if they don't like you whether present or not mm. i think it's going to be a very very big issue one out of so many people i think you can't even count it especially in the society where we live in if for instance you're you're married to say an only son for instance ah uh. i mean like like you said someone who's the breadwinner uh, it's, it's going to be a lot it's going to yeah, be a lot i, I mean my that. husband lost me oh nothing can happen he lost me he'll stand by me like he said it's not blood not is sicker than water, water my, my yes because at the so, end of the day you're not you're not marrying yeah. the man you're yeah. marrying the His family, family. Too. You're, yeah. and you're coming into exactly. the family yeah. but at the same time i don't think it's a red flag because i feel like some people still work yeah work. Some, i mean some, some, some people still work for me some people have lived years without even relating with but if you see that there's already challenge before getting married from that i bet you Yes, it please run. Please mm. run. No matter how he tries to convince you, mm-hmm, please mm-hmm. Yeah. Take, run. <laughs> take on your toes, boo. Yeah. This is much we can take today on Fuse and Bothered, guys. This is where we have to draw the curtains. Do not forget to join the conversation yep. online. Instagram, Fuse underscore local. And YouTube, Fuse one. My name is ABA Kings, and you can link up with me at AB underscore AKYNZ. You find me on Instagram at Gabby.Gabby. All social media platforms at underscore Madichi. From all of us here in the studio, guys, stay, stay fused. fused. Holla. Upfront and personal, world-class business, world-class consultants.